welcome graduates, family, and friends to our 2020 commencement ceremony. It goes without saying that today is a special day. Graduates, you have overcome great obstacles, made incredible sacrifices, and completed rigorous demanding programs to be here today. You should be very proud. I commend you on your success. And I speak for everyone at UMSL when I say that we are all proud of you as well. My hope is that you will look back on your time here at the University of Missouri-St. Louis as a transformative time, a time in which you made new friendships, gained a valuable education, and discovered your path, your mission, your purpose. As you continue on your chosen path, it is my hope that you build and strengthen the relationships and connections that you've made at or through UMSL and that your thirst for knowledge remains as strong as the day you joined our UMSL community. I hope you will keep today and all of your memories of UMSL with you always. You've earned it. Congratulations. Now I am pleased to introduce Lexi Neal, who will sing the national anthem. Hello everyone. I am Sharon Johnson, the Dean of the School of Social Work here at UMSL. I am here this evening to offer words of encouragement to our graduates. This year has been a year of challenges. We have all endured many disappointments as well as some heartache, but we are all still here. You have made it to the end of this academic journey and while you may have some difficulty seeing it now, you are much stronger than what you were when 2020 began. You have overcome, you have conquered, you have persevered. You maintain hope, you help to change lives. We celebrate each of you for your accomplishments. Over the course of this year, you met the task of finishing classes in a new format. And not only did you finish the task, you excelled. You worked diligently with agencies to provide services that were needed more than ever. You assumed risks for the greater good because you had made commitments to your clients and to those agencies serving those clients. And for your steadfast effort and commitment, we say thank you. The School of Social Work experienced challenges and opportunities as well. We had just completed our accreditation site visit when the pandemic changed our lives. I am very happy to say that the school received accreditation for another eight years. During the summer, as you were all taking online classes, 
we packed up and said goodbye to our home in Bell Reef Hall. We moved into suites on the fourth floor of SSB, which is on the north side of campus. This move opens the door for our current and future students to take advantage of the resources and conveniences of our new location in SSB. And we are very fortunate to maintain some of the little extras that made Bell Reef Hall feel like a community for more than 10 years. We look forward to having students fill those spaces and take advantage of all the campus has to offer. This year, we were awarded the school's very first Curator's Distinguished Professorship and the very first for any social work faculty in the University of Missouri system. We congratulate Dr. Uma Segal on this accomplishment as well as her receipt of the President's Award for Cross-Cultural Engagement. And most importantly, many of you were involved in the work of our Student Social Work Association, which made us all proud winning in four categories during the UMSL Student Leadership Awards Program. Our reflection on 2020 definitely has many bright spots, and for that, we are all very thankful. As you prepare for your next journey or adventure, the School of Social Work intends to remain a place for you to continue your growth in the field. We are committed to providing you with opportunities for lifelong learning through our continuing education program and through our partnerships for research and service with community partners. To our May, August, and December graduates, we wish you continued success. We already know that you will inspire hope and change lives. Please keep us informed of your accomplishments as you help to sustain this region. You are our newest alumni. Continue to make us proud. Thank you and congratulations. We will now proceed to the awarding of academic degrees. Dean Johnson will present the master's candidates in the graduate school. Chancellor, I am honored to present these candidates. They have completed the requirements prescribed for master's degrees and are recommended by the graduate school and the graduate faculty of the School of Social Work. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Curators of the University of Missouri, I hereby confer upon you the degree in your field with all the rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Dean Johnson will now present candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Social Work. Chancellor. I am honored to present these candidates. They have completed the requirements prescribed for bachelor's degrees and are recommended by the faculty of the School of Social Work. All bachelor's degree candidates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Curators of the University of Missouri, I hereby confer upon you the degree in your field with all the rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Undergraduates, if you are wearing your cap, gown, and tassel, and it's okay if you don't, given them circumstances, it is now time to move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left, signifying the conferral of your bachelor's degree. Congratulations to you all. Dean Munn Sanchez will introduce graduates in the Pierre Laclede Honors College. To graduates of the Pierre Laclede Honors College, the primary mission of the Honors College is to provide challenging, enhanced intellectual experiences to a select group of highly motivated undergraduate students with an academic community that emphasizes service and engagement. Drawn from all academic disciplines, these students pursue a certificate unique to the Honors College with an emphasis on interdisciplinary courses and developing writing and communication skills. Pierre Laclede Honors College graduates are prepared to serve their communities and lead in their professions. It is a particular honor to congratulate today's group of graduating students. 
I very much miss the opportunity to shake your hand and congratulate you as you walk across the stage, but your grit and determination in your classes and your efforts to maintain the honors community during COVID have been an inspiration. For that, I want to extend a sincerely felt thank you as well as congratulations. Chancellor, I present these students to receive special recognition for their accomplishments in the Pierre Laclede Honors College. On behalf of the Board of Curators, I give special recognition to you for the rigor of your curriculum and for your academic success. Congratulations. We are excited that now is the time for the presentation of graduates. The graduates announced here are grouped first by their semester of graduation and then by degree level achieved. A student marshal, a class representative selected by each college, will introduce their fellow graduates. Graduates will be recognized by a customized slide as their name is announced. Any other year, we would ask that you hold your applause until all of the graduates have been announced. In this case, let's all be sure to cheer loudly as each UMSL grad is celebrated here today. Graduates, it's time. Austin W. Dial. Alyssa Crystal Ford. Maisha Tanai Thomas. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Christy Ivory, and I'm a Bachelor of Social Work graduate in the School of Social Work. I am proud to present the spring and summer undergraduates who have received bachelor's degrees in the School of Social Work. We have earned this honor and deserve to be celebrated. Congratulations, graduates. Brianna Colombo, cum laude. Jennifer Monique Holloway. Christy A. Ivory, cum laude. Diamond Flora Jacobs. Emanuela Christiana Larson. Keith McLean. Elizabeth Ann Underhill, cum laude. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Brittany Hafford, and I am a Master of Social Work candidate for the School of Social Work. I am proud to present the fall candidates eligible for advanced degrees in the School of Social Work. It took a lot of hard work to get here, and I could not be more proud of myself or my fellow graduates. Congratulations. Santana Marie Figueroa. Brittany May Hafford. Keisha Marie Jackson. Amanda Marie Lands Ramrup. Andrea Joe Martin. Emily Lane Mosier. Ashley Nicole Ressiner. Destiny Robinson. Divine Michelle Robinson. Stephanie Ann Shaw. Carly Page Vote. Hello, class of Turtle Story. My name is Kevin Kiki, and I am a bachelor's of social candidate at the School of Social Work. I am proud to, to present all undergraduate candidates eligible for the bachelor's degree 
the school social work. I'm so proud of myself and my fellow graduates for all the hard work we put in to earn our degrees at this time with no shortage of additional shortages. Congratulations, graduates. Brittany Anjane Imani Dalko. Amy Lee Dyer. Janet E. Edwards McCormick. Caitlin Marissa Fisher. Kevin Martin Geeky. Cheyenne Ray Harmon. Ramona Marita Johnson Esther W. Kaguthi Jennifer Larkin McCorgery Anna Catherine McKeever Lauren Elizabeth Merton Gail Murray Gabrielle Elizabeth Nonheim. Nadi Rose Prasad. Jordan Elizabeth White. This concludes the inspiring presentation of graduates. It is now my pleasure to welcome back Lexi Neal to sing our alma mater. It's now time for a moment in our ceremony that has become a tradition here at the University of Missouri St. Louis. It's one I personally enjoy and believe is really important. It's a moment of gratitude and thanks. Let's take this moment to recognize the people who didn't graduate today, but still held a meaningful role in making this day happen all those who've made the goal of achieving an education a possibility for their loved ones. Moms, dads, grandparents, guardians, spouses, children, and other family members and friends, along with your UMSL faculty and staff. Those here and those remembered. We see you, we thank you. Congratulations and gratitude to each of you as well.